Hello survivors, this prefab consists of a single three level building, drive through and surrounding parking lot. Each area is handcrafted and painted to achieve a realistic likeness to the McDonald's restaurant fast food chain. First up we have the sales counter and kitchen area, complete with all the necessary prep and cooking equipment. In the basement there is an open storage area and rusted walk-in cooler. Down the hall, we have the employee break room, complete with all the amenities, pull-out couch, locker storage, kitchenette, microwave, and flat screen TV. Last but not least, we have an 18-wheeler semi-parked out back, waiting for the curious scavenger. What can possibly be inside? The entire prefab inside and out is configured with 13 hard difficulty sleeper volumes, consisting of 42 possible sleeper locations come prepared if you plan on surviving. This prefab weighs in at 55 voxels wide, 88 voxels long, and 17 voxels tall, complete with its own distant PY mesh file so you can spot in the distance. By default, it is configured to spawn in random world gen games, downtown and commercial areas within cities or towns. Big shout out to Hound 9000 and Piles for their editor tools. Without them, this prefab would not exist. As always, let me know in the comments below or on the 7 Days to Die forums of what you think and what custom prefab you'd love to see next. Until next time, survivors, the last man out.